energy can never be made, okay? it can never be created, and it can never be lost, it can't be destroyed. The only thing that can happen to energy is that it can change from one type of energy to another, so one form of energy to another. So I'm going to do a little science experiment now with this basketball to show you guys how that works. I want you to look at that ball. Now, does it have any energy? Yeah. No. no, it doesn't. If I pick it up, can I give it some energy? Yeah. yeah. So if I pick it up and hold it here, it now has something called stored gravitational energy. So it's, potential, it's got the potential to move, but it's not moving actually yet, unless I start wiggling it around like that. Um, if I pick up this ball and give it potential energy, now it can do something, it can move. So I want you to now look at me and I want you to imagine that my body is a ruler, okay? My feet are gonna be zero and up here where I'm holding the basketball now, that's gonna be 10, okay? So if I lift up this ball from the ground and pick it up to there, I've given it 10 parts of stored energy. Now, if I let this ball go, what's gonna happen to it? It's gonna, it's gonna fall, it's gonna bounce. Does anybody wanna take a guess as to where it might bounce back to on my ruler? So it's going to bounce right back to 10? Yeah? Anybody think any different? Yeah? Five? Anybody think any different than that? Higher than 10? Okay, let's have a look. So watch carefully. So I've given it 10 parts of energy. Where on the Sophie ruler does that come back to? About four or five. Okay, so what happened to the other five parts of energy? Ah, but Sir Isaac Newton said you can't lose energy. You can't actually destroy it. Okay, so he said something else. He said that energy could be, do you know? changed very good so those five parts of energy actually changed into something else so i'm going to show you what that was okay this time i'm going to do the same experiment again i'm going to lift the ball up to 10 let it go it's going to bounce back but this time i want you to close your eyes okay close your eyes really tight and i want you to tell me when the ball hits the ground okay okay so how did you know you heard it and sound is a form of energy so some of the energy that i gave to the ball that didn't come back to me in the bounce changed into sound energy I want you to line up there in front of me, and I want you to put your feet flat on the ground, and I want you to tell me if you feel anything when I do this. Okay? Vibration. You feel vibrations. Very good. Okay, so movement, vibrations with the ground. So some of the energy that I gave to the basketball that didn't come back to me in the bounce, they changed, and the energy became vibrations, movement energy, and it moved to the ground. Very good. You girls can sit back down. And now I want everyone to put their hands together like this, and I want you to rub them really hard together. And what happens to our hands? They warm up. Does anybody know why they warm up? What's that called? Friction. friction. And it's just like this. If I keep bouncing this basketball over and over again, because of friction with the ground, the rubber's actually going to start to heat up a little bit. Do you think heat's a form of energy? Yeah. It is, absolutely. So you can see that Sir Isaac Newton was right. None of the energy actually disappeared. It wasn't lost. It wasn't destroyed. It just changed. It changed into sound energy, into heat energy, into vibrations, movement with the ground. Okay.